Hey guys, it's Wrestling Fan for Life 98, and I am back on here on YouTube to bring you guys a new video up on the channel. And this is my preview and predictions for tonight's for this year's WWE Survivor Series uh, 2021 uh, pay per view. My preview and predictions, and uh, and just guys, before I quickly, you know, get any more uh, into a uh, into um you know survivor series that is happening uh tonight that is that happens uh tonight on sunday the 21st of november that i just quickly again want to go back just very quickly to mention that the last video was that i did again which was again that quick you know uh thank you message that i did to say thank you for again uh for all the views again that i had uh, on that Randy Orton video, which went viral and all that, and that was seen uh, from when I went to WWE Live. Uh, well, when I was on at WWE Live two weeks ago, that was in Birmingham, and all the reactions again that that had. That I just again, guys, want to say thank you for all the views that that video. Well, again, it's still again having loads of views on there now, and it has now actually reached one hundred and sixty four k. Um, you know, views now, if, if you go and look on my, on my channel now, again, you know, just, um, if you wanted to know what, how many views it's got now, but again, it's just been crazy, guys, I mean, honestly, that these last few days, and, you know, the last two weeks has, again, been crazy, I know, I know, again, that I've not really been on my channel that much, you know, making, like, these types of videos, well, not these types of videos, but again, it's been a while, you know, since coming on, uh, you know, to make a preview and predictions video, uh, well, to make a video like this, so I do apologise, off again, off, you know, that I've not been, you know, uh, doing too many videos recently, but, uh, but yeah, so again, guys, I have to, again, just um, wanted again to, to go over that and say thank you, just one more thanks, and um, again, just remember, guys, again to keep subscribing, uh, up, you know, on my channel and all that. And as you can see, I'm wearing actually my AJ Styles uh, gloves that I got at that WWE uh, live event in Birmingham because I thought, you know what, that I thought it would be quite cool, you know, to wear these and that. Because again, this is a WWE. Well, this is a wrestling related video and all that and I just thought it would be cool to wear these you know just to have these on you know to do this video and they're pretty cool I mean like I said before these are you know replica gloves that AJ Styles you know wears but again that's again getting off topic so guys I am on here to give you guys my WWE Survivor Series 2021 pay-per-view preview and predictions and again I was originally uh, supposed to be doing this as a collab that was meant to be last night uh, with my friend uh, Gary Threat, but unfortunately that due to, uh, to technical difficulties and due to the fact that Gary couldn't get, you know, set up and all that, and I think he was also busy as well, like I'm not, I, I just couldn't get hold of Gary uh, in the end uh, to do the predictions and that with him. So I, I know that, again, this is a bit of a change of plan from what I was originally going to, to be doing, guys. So again, that, that's another reason, again, why this is literally, again, being, you know, done, like, today, like, on the day of Survivor Series, because I was originally supposed to be doing this as a collab with Gary, uh, which was supposed to be, again, an audio, uh, you know, on audio, well, again, on Skype, on a Skype call and that. So I do again apologise. That that's why again look, that this has changed again. You know at the last minute. But hopefully that you know that Gary Threat. Well Husky Heroes is going to be joining me. Uh, to review Survivor Series. Hopefully I'll try and see if I can get him back for that guys. But again you know. Again it was also his birthday as well. It was also his birthday. That was on Thursday as well. Just gone. Um, and he is now uh, 37 now, Gary, but uh, but yeah, so again, he has been busy as well, but uh, but again, it's fine, and I am on here, like I said, and I am going to be, uh, you know, 
doing this again as a normal preview and predictions uh, video, guys. So, let's get down to it without waiting any more further, guys. And let's jump in to uh, Survivor Series then. That is tonight. That is this Sunday. And that is going to be coming from the Barclays Centre in Brooklyn, uh, New York. Which I believe is the first time that Survivor Series will be at the Barclays Centre in Brooklyn, New York. I, I, I don't know if, it, if this is the first time or not. Because obviously they've had SummerSlam that has taken place there, you know, two years ago. Uh, it, well, no, three years ago. Like they had it at, at there for SummerSlam for two or three years. Only about two, three years ago. From 2016 up to 2019. Uh, for SummerSlam that they've been in, in the Barclays Arena, Barclays Centre in Brooklyn, New York. So that is where uh, Survivor Series will be taking place this year. And that again, it is on this Sunday, on well, tonight, on Sunday the 21st of November 2021. A day earlier than it was uh, last year, because last year it was on the 22nd of November Survivor Series and because again that last year was the 30th anniversary of when The Undertaker made his WWE uh, debut at Survivor Series 1990 which again that is also on my channel as well so if you want to rewind and go back a year ago to when I did uh, my Survivor Series uh, 2020 predictions then I can put that perhaps at the end of, uh, of doing this uh, you know to, to, to rewind, you know, to, to this time last year, to 2020, when again, that that was in the Thunderdome uh, last year, that was again uh, in the Thunderdome last year, Survivor Series, when it when it took place last year, but, uh, but again, like I said now, but it is back again now in front of fans in the Barclays Centre this year in Brooklyn, New York. So, you know, it, it should again, you know, hopefully be a decent crowd and hopefully, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see uh, how it goes. But, um, but yeah, so, and I believe again that this will be the 34th annual Survivor Series. I think that this year's Survivor Series is the 34th annual Survivor Series, but it could be you know, the 35th annual Survivor Series, because again, I can never quite remember again which one they're on now, without again, you know, just going off the top of my head, but I think this, this year Survivor Series is the 34th annual Survivor Series, because I think last year I got mixed up with all that, but, um, but yeah, so... I might again, you know, be mixed up on that, guys, so I mean, I do apologise if, if I might be mixed up, but, um, uh, but yeah, so, but like I said, so, you know, that is pretty much, uh, you know, the news and all that, but also, guys, that Survivor Series will also be, this will also be the last pay-per-view of uh, 2021 as well, because TLC has actually been uh, scrapped this year, so also, that this means Survivor Series is going to be the last pay-per-view that I'll be covering of 2021. Well, again, when I do my review uh, next, you know, after this, then that will be it then for all the pay-per-views uh, for 2021. So that kind of, again, does feel a little bit strange that, you know, that is going to feel this, this. So this does feel a bit weird that Survivor Series is going, that this Survivor Series will be the last pay-per-view <clears throat> of 2021 because TLC, well, Tables, Ladders and Shares has been uh, scrapped this year and has been, you know, taken off uh, for next month for uh, December. So, uh, so yes. But again now, guys, with, with all the information now out the way with, let's now, you know, jump right in then <clears throat> into the match card for Survivor Series. And we will start then. And in total... That I believe there is uh, eight, no, seven matches that are in total uh, on the match card uh, for this year's Survivor Series. Which starts off then with the Survivor Series kickoff show. That will start with the kickoff show one hour prior on um, on Peacock. Or well again on, you know, on the WWE's, U well again that will be free. Uh, on the WWE YouTube channel. And I think I am going to, you know, probably tune into the kickoff show as well. 
uh, to see what happens on the kickoff show. But basically, it has been announced that, again, that as uh, last year for Survivor Series, that there will be... <clears throat> You know, again, there will be an interbrand uh, battle royal uh, between, again, Raw and SmackDown uh, superstars. Superstars from both Raw and SmackDown taking part uh, in, in in a 20... I think they said it's, it's going to be a 25-man battle royal because, again, that this year's Survivor Series does also celebrate, you know, it's also linked with the 25th anniversary of when The Rock made his debut at Survivor Series in 1996. So again, it, it this Survivor Series ties in with when The Rock made his uh, debut at Survivor Series 25 years ago, back in 1996, in which, again, I wasn't even born then. So, uh, but, uh, but, um, but, yeah. So, yeah, so basically, that that is, again, what the kickoff match is going to be. Well, that is what will be on the kickoff show. So again, you know, I don't again have a lot to say because again, you know, we had a battle royal that took place last year at Survivor Series. And I, I believe it was won by The Miz. I believe it was The Miz who was the one who, who won last year for Team... I think it was Team Raw that, uh, that The Miz won it for. But yeah, so like I think he like last eliminated Dominic Mysterio... Uh, to win the Battle Royal last year, uh, representing Team Raw, well, Monday Night Raw. So, uh, for this year, I haven't again seen who's, you know, the complete lineup for who's going to be in, in this Battle Royal. But that again, there's going to be the likes of, well, from SmackDown, well, no, from Raw, sorry, there's going to be AJ Styles, uh, Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, I think the Street Profits. Um, I'm just again trying to think now off the top of my head. Um, but that th there is again that there is a few, um, there is a few from Raw, and then from SmackDown you have the likes of Ricochet. There'll be the likes of Ricochet, uh, Cesaro. Um, yeah, Cesaro, the Viking Raiders. I think they were also on there as well. Um, so, so like, yeah, th th there was a few, like, I can't name them all off the top of my head because I haven't got the list, uh, in front of me here on my, on my tablet, uh, and all that. So I, so again, I can't again remember off the top of my head who, who's all in this year's Battle Royal, but, uh, but yeah, so like I said, it, it is just again, basically, you know, Raw and SmackDown superstars. So, um, so in terms of my prediction now, if I have to make a prediction for who I think will win this year's uh, Battle Royal, again, like to be honest, again, I don't really again care who wins this Battle Royal because that again, it doesn't again really mean like that much overall, whoever wins this, uh, this Battle Royal. But... If I did have to make a prediction, if I did have to decide who I who I think will win, you know, I'll probably go with. I mean, again, just to pick a name out, I'll say AJ Styles, even though I don't think AJ is going to win. But I, I think it would be cool having AJ Styles, you know, winning the battle royal. I can't see AJ winning. But again, just again to make a prediction on, on who I think will win, I'll just go off the top of my head and I'll pick randomly and I'll pick AJ Styles uh, to win the Battle Royal this year because I do think that, again, you know, that, you know, again, just because it's AJ Styles and that, again, that he is not, you know, taking part, you know, in, in the men's. Uh, on the main card for Survivor Series uh, this year. So, uh, so yeah. So, I am going to pick AJ Styles uh, to win the 26-man uh, Battle Royal. And also, I think Sami Zayn, uh, Sami Zayn is another one who is also in it as well. But I am going to pick AJ Styles uh, to win for Team Raw. Well, for Monday Night Raw. And the, I will pick him to win the Battle Royal. And uh, we move on from that. So then, guys, we then get uh, to the main card matches then for Survivor Series. So how I'm going to do this is that 
I will go through uh, the Team Raw versus Team SmackDown 5-on-5 uh, five five elimination matches uh, first. And then I will go over the uh you know the champions versus champions uh matches because yeah that basically again guys this year that again in case if you didn't know that the concept again for smackdown this year is that again it is again raw versus smackdown raw going against uh smackdown this year for bragging rights and to be again you know the superior brand and all that again so and like I said, guys, the one thing I will say is that this really, again, like I said, and, and it has, again, definitely been, you know, a very lackluster build, you know, for Survivor Series overall this year, guys. And in terms of, like, my interest in these matches this year, like, I can't say that I'm interested. But I still, again, think, again, that the talents... The talents, again, who are involved are, again, are still, again, you know, that there is, again, some good talents who are who are involved in the five-on-five five matches this year. And even, again, even the Champions versus Champion matches, like, as well, you know, should also, you know, be interesting. But just, again, in terms of my overall interest for, for, for again, now, for, for again, like, for, for these, you know, Raw and SmackDown you know, for these, um, for this, like, whole Raw versus SmackDown, you know, you know, between, you know, the, the battle for brand supremacy between Raw and SmackDown, I I'm just getting tired of it now, and I think, again, I think I may have said this last year, but I think definitely now that this year, it it's just definitely kind of, like, been very like lackluster like like just again in terms of the build and the fact again that this is again supposed to be wwe's one of wwe's big four pay-per-views of the year that again this year there's just been a lack of interest like definitely with this year's survivor series um and, and again like even again with last year's survivor series to a degree as well that i would say that it was, again, the same with last year's Survivor Series. But at least with last year's Survivor Series, you know, you had to get... You didn't have it, again, in front of fans and that. It was, again, in the Thunderdome and all that. And it was different last year. And also, again, the fact, again, it was the 30th anniversary of The Undertaker's debut that was attached, you know, to it last year. But it's like... But I just think at this point, guys, it just doesn't work anymore. Just the whole Raw against SmackDown, you know, to see again who the best brand is. It just hasn't, you know, it just doesn't work, you know, you know now. And it's just, again, been a, it's just a tiring concept now. And I think after when they first had it again, when they brought it back, you know, in 2016, when they had, you know, the, the brand split, back in 2016 like i would say from 2016 up to probably 2019 which was when you had you know the nxt invasion and you had nxt involved as well like that that's when i would say that i think it was good up to that point but then like i said that i think last year and this year it, it's just been like you know it, it just has been what it is really so that, that, that's all I'm going to say in, in terms of, like, the build-up. Well, in terms of, like, the hype and in terms of my interest, really. Again, it, it just, again, getting, you know, Raw versus Smack... Having, you know, Raw going up against SmackDown. It's like, again, nobody really cares anymore. Like, nobody, again, cares to see, you know, who wins... Well, who wins, again, out of Raw and SmackDown... Um, you know, to to be honest, because again, the concepts just doesn't work anymore. It, it's just again become more watered down as the, as again as the the last you know two years have shown that again there's just been a lack of interest. That there's a lack of interest. There's a lack of build, and just not enough you know hype really. But. Uh, but yeah, so 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 that that's what I would say, guys. Um, so again, I'm not going to say I'm excited, but there are again still, like I said, matches on here that should be good. You know, you know the champions versus champions matches. 
And, you know, again, you know, the, the Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, you know, five on five matches this year for the men's and women's matches again. Hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll be, what will turn out to, to be interesting. But again, there's just no real interest. There's just no real kind of interest behind any of these matches um, going into them, really. Because, again, that basically they announced the teams, like I said this year. They, they basically just did announce them and all that. So, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to take these gloves off a minute, guys. Because uh, they're starting to get, you know... A bit sweaty now, my AJ Styles gloves. But, uh, but yeah. So, without waiting any more uh, further ado, guys. That now, like I said, let's jump then into the uh, the first match then. So, we start then with the women's 5-on-5 uh, five five, uh, Survivor Series elimination match. Team Raw this year versus Team SmackDown. So, representing uh, the Raw women's team on Team Raw is Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Queen Selena. And then for Team SmackDown's uh, women's team this year, that they will be led by the boss, uh, Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, newcomer Shotzi. Well, not newcomer, but again, that she only debuted on SmackDown a few weeks ago. Well, again, she was drafted to SmackDown and was, uh, yeah... Uh, the veteran uh, Natalia, another veteran in Natalia, who again is a part of of this, is a part as well on Team SmackDown. And then the final uh, member who was announced for the women's team was actually Tony Storm. Uh, she was announced to be the final uh, member for Team SmackDown because she replaced Aaliyah. Uh, to, to be on uh, Team SmackDown. Well, to be the final pick because Sonya Deville actually replaced Aaliyah, Aaliyah with, um, with Tony Storm as the final pick for Team SmackDown. Uh, so, in t and it, so in terms of my prediction for who I think is going to win, uh, I mean, it's a tough one, but... I think because, like, I think for the men's team, I kind of already know who I'm going to go with, you know, for the men's uh, Survivor Series team, you know, match. Well, for the 5-on-5 five five match for Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. So, I think for Team SmackDown's uh, women's... I mean, so I think for, for the women's 5-on-5 uh, five five match this year, I am going to say I think Team SmackDown is going to win uh, this year's 5-on-5 uh, five five, uh, match. And then I think that the Survivors will be Sasha Banks. And I'll say Sasha Banks and maybe Shotzi. But I'm definitely going to say I think Sasha Banks, I reckon, will be one of the Survivors. But I will say that I think Team SmackDown will be Team Raw. Although, again, that Team Raw, I think, on paper, you know, may have, you know, the slight, you know, better team. Well, it seems to have, like, the slight, you know, more, you know, not star power, but, I mean, again, that they have, you know, Bianca Belair. More like uprising stars, I guess. Like, they have, you know, Bianca Belair. You have, you know, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan. Uh, you know, Carmella, which again, you know, it, nobody really again cares about Carmella being on Team Raw. And then you've got, you know, Queen Selena. So, yeah, the Team Raw again is not bad, but I am going to pick, I think, that Team SmackDown will win. But I think again, this is one of, I, I think again, the survivor is going to be uh, Sasha Banks, but maybe, you know, possibly maybe that Shotzi. Or maybe Shayna Baszler might also, you know, survive as well. Might, you know, last at the end. But uh, I think that the last one to be eliminated from Team Raw will be Bianca Belair. I'm going to say, like, I I'm going to say that I think she's going to be eliminated first. Either her or maybe Liv Morgan, you know, might, you know, might get eliminated first. 
But although, they, again, I still think that the Raw Women's team looks slightly the more better team on paper. But I am still going to say that I think Team SmackDown, again, with the just again with the overall experience and with having Sasha, who, again, who, who has, again, been really, you know, good in these five-on-five -five matches in the past. And that I believe that there was a stat they said on SmackDown where she's actually had... Um, that she's made the most eliminations like in the uh, five on five matches or the second most in the women's, you know, five on five matches, whether it's been on Team Raw or Team SmackDown that she's eliminated. I think they said 13 or 14 of, of only like, there's only been one, you know, only one, you know, um, one time when she didn't, you know, uh, make um, an elimination. So, but I am again just going to say Team SmackDown because they have again Sasha Banks. But again, it, it should again be interesting because again, you know, there'll be interactions again, you know, the interactions again between Sasha and Bianca, you know, again, having Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler crossing paths, you know, Shotzi and Liv Morgan might be an interesting, you know, interaction as well there but yeah so but again i'm gonna say team smackdowns will will win the women's match will win the women's five on five match and uh we will move on from that and then moving on then to the men's uh five on five elimination match this year team raw versus team smackdown raw versus smackdown and that it was announced that uh, for Team SmackDown, that again, they have announced uh, who the final member is uh, for Team SmackDown because they had uh, a fatal four-way match to determine who would uh, take uh, the last spot on the men's team uh, this year. Which again, I'll get to Team SmackDown in a minute. But for Team Raw's lineup this year, they have uh, Seth Rollins, who I'm guessing is the team captain. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, a new heel turned, uh, a new heel version of Kevin Owens, uh, Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory versus Team SmackDown, who will be led by Drew McIntyre, uh, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Happy Corbin, and the final member who was revealed, well, who won the fatal four-way match uh, to become the last uh, member for Team SmackDown, and that was uh, Sheamus. Uh, that was Sheamus who uh, who got onto Team SmackDown because he won a fatal four-way match against Ricochet, Cesaro, and Jinder Mahal uh, to take the last spot on Team SmackDown uh, here. So with the men's match this year, you know I will say that. That, that definitely, like, they basically, again, that they announced who, again, who was going to be on the men's team for both, you know, Team Raw and Team SmackDown uh, this year. But that, again, with the only altercation with Team SmackDown was that basically, again, you know, they took out, you know, both Ray and Dominic Mysterio and replaced them with Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory. Because, again, originally, Ray Mysterio, you know, was meant to be you know, the final member of Team Raw. But then that on Raw this week, Adam Pearce, you know, took Rey Mysterio off Team, uh, off team Raw because he lost uh, to Bobby Lashley, uh, to Bobby Lashley. And so instead, he put Austin Theory on to, uh, announced Austin Theory uh, to be on Team Raw, which I really, again, don't get why Austin Theory is even a part of Team Raw. Like, I just don't get it, and, and I just don't get the appeal with Austin Theory, guys, in all honesty. Yes, I know, he is young, and they are trying, you know, to obviously, again, they're trying to develop his character. They're trying to, you know, they're obviously trying to make him a rising star and all that. They're trying to push him on the main roster, well, on Monday Night Raw, which, again, because, again, he's had wins over, you know, veterans again. Over again, the likes of Rey Mysterio. He's beaten Rey Mysterio. He's beaten, you know, Jeff Hardy as well before he was drafted to SmackDown. Uh, but honestly, guys, I mean, Austin Theory, you know, he just is what he, what he is to me. Like, again, like, even when I saw him, you know, at that WWE Live 
that he was at, you know, in Birmingham, because he was actually at that WWE Live I went to. And to be honest, like, I didn't really know how to react, you know, honestly, uh, to Austin Theory. Because I know, obviously, again, that he is, again, basically, again, like a cocky, obnoxious heel. Well, not obnoxious, but he's just, like, one of them cocky, you know, kind of heels and, and all that. Um, but, and just his face and all that, again. I mean, just the, the, the face that he does and all that, that face, his facial expressions... And just like, I mean, that's what I just don't like about Austin Theory. But again, I'm not again going to rant on it. I'm not going to, to keep on about it. But but again, like for the rest of Team Raw again, that like I said, I mean, Seth Rollins, again, we know what to expect from him. You know, Finn Balor, um, Bobby Lashley and Kevin Owens, who like I said, has just recently now uh, turned heel. He's gone back to uh, to being a heel again, Kevin Owens, because he attacked, uh, well, he, he finally uh, snapped and turned heel when he attacked Big E on Raw, on Monday Night Raw two weeks ago, after when Kevin Owens uh, lost in a match to Seth Rollins uh, two weeks ago. So, like I said, the, the rest of Team Raw, again, you know, is pretty decent if you take out, you know, Austin Theory. That I still, again, think that Team Raw has got a good lineup. But personally, again, I would have, again, took an Austin Theory out and I would have replaced him, you know, with, with again, with having, again, like someone like Rey Mysterio. Well, well again, just keeping Rey Mysterio or that I would have had AJ Styles, or I think most people said that, you know, AJ Styles, again, isn't even involved, you know, like I said, in this, you know, match either, well, isn't involved this year in, in the 5-on-5 five five men's match. So that's, you know, disappointing as well, because I think AJ, you know, would have, again, brought a lot, you know, to Team Raw as well. But it is what it is. But again, for Team SmackDown again, you've got Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Happy Corbin and Sheamus. Uh, but I really, again, just only think that Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, you know, the only one again on Team SmackDown who I don't really care about really is again just Happy Corbin. But again... That's just me, I suppose. But getting down, though, to my prediction in terms of who I think is going to win for Team Raw. And again, I am going to say that it's pretty obvious. Well, I think it's pretty straightforward that again, that this year I am going to say I think Team Raw, that the, the men's team is going uh, to, to again, to once again uh, go over Team SmackDown. Simply again, just because I think that you've got, you know, just that little bit more, you know, star power on Team Raw, in my opinion. And, you know, having, they've got, you know, Kevin Owens, you know, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Finn Balor on Team Raw. So I, I just still think, again, that with who's on Team Raw, that I just think that they've got, you know, a good chance, you know, of, of winning I mean, I still, again, think, again, that Team SmackDown is definitely, again, you know, definitely has a better team, I think, compared to last year's, because last year's Team SmackDown was a little bit kind of, like, thrown together. But I think with this year's, you know, with the team they've got on SmackDown this year, that it does actually work. I mean, I think, again, you know, having Drew McIntyre and Jeff Hardy, again, you've got Jeff Hardy as the veteran, Drew McIntyre, who again, who, who is the captain, who is like, you know, going to, uh, who is a big personality. And you've got, you know, Xavier Woods as well. So, well, King Woods. So I'm not again trying to say that Team SmackDown looks bad on paper this year. Because that again, they have still got, you know, the skills again of Xavier Woods and... You know, and, and they've got, you know, they have got a decent team. But I just think, though, that for me, though, I think Team Raw is going to come out on top in the men's team this year. Because I, I just think, again, Team Raw just has too much, in my opinion. Like, I just think they have too much. 
So my prediction again is that Team Raw will win. But in terms of who I think will be the survivors, I'm going to say, I think Seth Rollins and I was, I'm going to say actually, yeah, I think Seth Rollins and maybe Bobby Lashley, I might say, might, might end up being the, the survivors and, um, and yeah, to, to last eliminate, I'm going to say Drew McIntyre at, at the end. And, uh, yeah, I, I just think ultimately, again, I just think Team Raw just has, you know, the advantage over Team SmackDown. And, uh, but I do, again, hope that this year, again, that I still, again, again, want Team SmackDown to have a better showing this year than compared to last year. Than compared to the men's team last year. Because, again, Seth Rollins was on, on the men's team, on Team SmackDown. Well, again was on Team SmackDown last year and he was eliminated in like, in like, what was it again? Like 30 seconds into the match last year. So that was, you know, disappointing. So, but no, but this year I just think Team Raw has the advantage and, um, and there we go with that. So then let's move on, on to, 